I'll go back, everybody. The mouse is on the screen, but not anymore. We did it, gamers. Uh, first of all, some housekeeping. Thank you for 10,000 subscribers. Yes! Very cool. Uh, all of you are very pog and epic. And Mighty we are Mighty. gonna be doing something for 10k, but 10k has hit just be obviously. I mean, survives coming out, so you know you can count that. But we've got a yeah. special video planned that we'll have to. We're gonna record probably after survive first comes out. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody. Also, uh, senpai noticed me this week, which is pretty baller. So yeah. uh, look forward to the Digimon Survive LP we're gonna do, which is Genocide Run, uh, which is probably gonna be out. Oh, maybe this will this will be out before then. Possibly, I don't know. Probably the schedules. Yeah. Are yeah. But regardless, at the very least, survive will be out before you see this. Survive, so. yes, yeah, survive should be out before you see this, and then first part of our run will probably be a, a day or so, uh, a couple of days after that. But we're yeah. back at it, and another big important thing is that uh, let me just make sure I get the name right because I hate doing that. Uh, we, I got a DM after, I believe, uh, episode three or four of Hacker's Memory, Nuzlocke went out, modded Nuzlocke, which is, weirdly enough, the thing you're watching right now. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I got an email from Mojo Saramon, or a DM, I thought I said email. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he was Behind like, email. hey, I saw that you've been playing with my mods and gave me some updates, but then more recently sent that they've updated the mods very frequently so there's an updated link and that there are appearance changes for certain Digimon um, with an easter egg and we are the only people who are going to have this mod until the LP comes out I already know what they look like because I wanted to make sure they wouldn't crash the game so I loaded yeah. up the Ant May save file and got them all um, number one, they look sick as fuck Nice. Number two, um, I cannot find the Easter egg on the <laughs> <laughs> I um, looked, I got every single rookie and just like looked at the 360. I could not find it. So maybe I'm dumb, which is very possible. Okay, sure. But I'm hoping that it'll it'll pop up somewhere in the LP. Or maybe something that I didn't even notice because I, I played this game so much, you know. Oh, uh, possibly just it's just kind of like thrown in. I, I, yeah. The fact that it's Easter egg, hard to notice. It says, that, uh, they said it's an Easter egg hard to notice on a rookie Digimon. The only so, thing that I, I thought it might be, but I don't know if this is even possible, is it looked like Terriermon was a bit fatter. Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe it's know. Big Chung as Terriermon, like from that maybe, one meme on the second channel? Maybe, I don't know. That was like the only thing that I was like, is Terriermon always this... It's not even like fat, he's just got a bigger belly. Right. So, so they, ever so see they, they told me which you. Digimon they are. They didn't tell me what the difference Well, they told me what one. They sent me a picture of one difference, which I think is very, very cool, and I'd like to see that for Biomon. Oh, yeah. Um, cool. But I, there's, a, there's three more Digimon who have changes that I have not seen remotely, so I hope we can get those at some point. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're. Really cool. they're... But there's one that's going to be a little difficult to get, but with I, with some off-screen grinding, I can make it happen. Okay, nice. Because it's, it's, e it's easy if you don't mind wasting your time. Sure. So I suppose Speaking that's of, our goal now, is to get through this Nuzlocke and also try and show off these mod forms that uh, we've been given kind of exclusive access to, which feels pr yeah. feels good, man. It's so It's so sweet. I love it. This guy's gonna make us fight him, I think. <laughs> Although I guess we can't go. Can we? Can we go back to Biomon? Because it died, right? No, that was Piomon. Oh, sh sure. Yeah, that was our. That was one of the custom ones. Oh, uh, okay. And it's not the same custom one that's been. Not this, no, no. It's it's just a reskin of Biomon. Nice. Okay. Awesome. So hopefully we can try and get that. It's probably the easiest one. Uh, uh, so right these gas masks, to, uh, Steam dealer, bro. Can you yeah. put fucking survive on Steam, please? Please, brother. Hook me up. We are recording this on the Tuesday before Survive comes out, and there is still no. Uh, apart from Japan, there's a Japanese eShop listing for Survive, but there's no eShop, PSN, or Steam listings, and I'm nervous. I just I want it so bad, <laughs> <sighs> dude. I really hope my fucking physical copy ships early, but I mean I'm same. I'm checking my mail like every day. <laughs> 
So, despite what some people may think, living my gigantic influencer lifestyle, I have actually already paid for a physical copy of Survive to support the release. Now, am I also hounding Bandai Namco for a code? Of course. <laughs> but I actually want to support this release, so I've, uh, I've paid for a physical copy. Yeah, I, I wanted a physical copy for my, uh, just, to, just to have, you know? Mm, put in the jar. Yeah, put in the jar. And then I'm probably going to get it on both Steam and Switch as well because I'm weak. Oh, sure. I'm definitely going to get it on Steam um, just because I hope there's a mod community for it because I feel like it's going to be a lot easier to mod than 3D oh, yeah, model stuff. For sure. So I, I so really these hope. These are uh, domination battles. Nice, they it's my favorite type. Very fun. And I really wish that they had done a PvP segment with this because. It's just like a little, like, tactics battle. That's like, really you cool. To, you gotta Digimon them. survive hints in Hacker's memory confirmed? Confirmed? Uh, I like that it kind of reminds me of the the visuals, I guess, more than the actual gameplay. It reminds me of the board game segments from Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem with these are is, uh, if you're nuzlocke how it works is every, like, little battle, you each only get... Each team gets one turn. Oh, what the fuck? So, like, and we can't swap out, so if we don't have any reserve Digimon, but if we did, we can't swap them out. Ooh, so if that's we had rough. A, yeah, we had a shit lineup. God so damn. We, we might bend the rules when it comes to the domination battles, but I did mention I, I that I think earlier, we just take it so. like, man, if the run ends, the run ends, you know? That's just how it's gonna yeah. be sometimes. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, th these ones. These first ones will be fine. It's just because there's some where like you don't get to choose your teammates. Right now we're lucky we got Ryuji and Chitose, but there are sure. some where you just get like somebody who has one Digimon and it fucking sucks. So you have to carry uh, your whole team. So, I guess that just means you have to sort of make sure your Digimon are nice and strong before you're gonna head into the domination area. <laughs> exactly. But luckily it warns you every time before a domination battle starts. It's like, hey, oh, that's good. Be careful. Uh, hey, shit's about to pop off. I'm gonna nab this one real quick. Man, what a team. Dramon, right. Cyber Dramon, and fucking Ground Dramon, or Cold Dramon. The whole, the whole game, everybody's got stacked teams. Yeah, everyone's kicking. Uh, Solomon and Hagurumon, based. Based, absolutely based. Now we have to murder them. I, fine. <laughs> I won't like it. But you, you gotta channel your inner Arata. No. I I gave uh, I gave for everybody to to sort of commemorate. Uh, the only reason is to commemorate the Gatomon that we lost along the way in the Cyber Sleuth. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I got him a little Gatomon memory oh. counter. She's so cute. I have her. I already got her glued to the bottom of the mason jar. I'm just waiting to reload. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I also Whatever. got Hunter uh, by Beatamon. So shout outs to uh, Chao at Chaotic Meatloaf for yeah. this very cool. Oh, I also commissioned myself a Hirathmon that hasn't arrived yet. But when it does, Hunter, put in pictures. <sighs> yes, yeah, right here. Pop, I love. Pop. I love making him do work, dude. Dude, me too. In the New World video, we thought that Hunter was going to be the one editing it. <laughs> so every time we're like, Hunter, edit, or put this in, I'm like, oh, fuck me. Yeah. Fuck Why me. Is that, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Oh, man. Uh, fucking Chitosa has a... The, the Unimon is a new skin. Oh, nice. Shima Unimon doesn't have wings. Oh, uh, that's it's true. A zebra. But I mean, it's the wings not, that they designed for them look sick as fuck. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I wonder if you could put like an invisible texture on them and then it would just not be there. Maybe. Hmm. How does so, that uh, work? Another thing that happened since we last recorded, I got the COVID. Oh, that's true. Yes. Yeah, or was, should so, we start calling it... me, uh, me, me. Should we start calling it something different like the Game Rums do? Oh, sure. <laughs> I don't uh, no, think I think it's okay now because it, it was that initial, uh, like four months or something where it was like a controversial subject so oh, like yeah. youtube was like flagging up and stuff i think it's fine i mean you know we can call it uh aids i got aids yeah hunter, <laughs> <laughs> hunter gave me hunter AIDS. gave you aids that's the new canon everybody <laughs> write that one down <laughs> <laughs> write it down everyone <laughs> Um, no i got covid and it sucked <laughs> it was awful it's Don't not good it. right was it your first time 
It was my first time. I, you, I think so. I because we talked about this before. We both oh, think right. we had it um, back before it was like a thing in 2019. Mm-hmm. Um, like December. I it, it seemed familiar. I think I bounced back from this quicker though, but that's. Probably because I'm vaccinated, you know? Right, vaxxed and potentially had it already as well, which gives you antigens and stuff too. Yeah, and it wasn't, like, super bad. Like, I was just, like, tired and I didn't want to get out of bed. But that first day, man, I thought I was going to die. I, yeah. I legitimately, for, like, the first, like, four hours of that day, was I, I couldn't stop puking. And I just, nothing nothing was making me feel better. And I was like, Maggie, <laughs> I, 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 if I had to spend my final day with anyone, <laughs> like, that's you. And she's like, shut the fuck up and eat some crackers. <laughs> Stop being dramatic. Yeah, my first day was very similar. I woke up and I felt kind of like, nah. And then uh, I got really intense shivers. Oh yeah! Um, oh my and, god! I was fucking freezing. Yeah, like no, and like literally to the point where like it was ridiculous. Like, cause I run hot anyway, but I was under the covers yeah. with a hot water bottle. Like everything was going on. Then I threw the fuck up, <laughs> and then I got really warm, and that was like my first two days back when I got it in January. Um, yeah, and then that right. after that, it was exactly like you said. It's like I could do shit, but like I didn't want to do shit. Like I was in yeah. bed, like. <laughs> Just like leaning up was not a fun time for me. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Oh, glad to see that nothing's changed. Love that. Yeah. There's actually, I think, I can't remember which episode it is, but I think it's with me and Hunter and Sonic Adventure Battle uh, 2 Battle, whatever the fuck, I hate that game. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I have my like absolute most like proto moment that's ever been on the LP where I'm like, I'm like talking, saying some shit, and then just let out a big burp, and then the episode ends. <laughs> 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 you know, there was uh, there's one moment where I burped, and you said, "I love how when we first started this, you were all professional, <laughs> and now you burp mid uh, stream, right?" Yeah. But I was like rewatching uh, Cyber Sleuth, the original one, and in the first episode, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just thought you were, or I didn't hear it or something. No. Nah, <laughs> It very well could have been that you just did. It, maybe it, the burp was so epic, the mic was like, I can't. Let I can't go. even. Yeah, you won't even notice. We're going to just cut that one out. Just cut cut it one. out. Cut it. Shout outs to Uncle Joey. Yeah. He, the um, basis for that one song. The... Yeah, he had sex with Alanis Morissette. Yeah, when she was 18 and he was like 35. <laughs> very normal. Congratulations. <laughs> I love being famous. Yeah, me too. I'm really fortunate that I got all my dickheadery out of the way in my 20s, well, in my like late teens and early 20s, and Same. then I've just sort of settled down to this pretty normal dude now, because, like, you know, I've, I'm not, I don't need to DM fucking 18-year-olds or, you know, no. like, any of that, like, fucking garbage that fucking famous men start doing. Not that I'm oh, famous, nice. don't get me wrong, but you know what I mean? Oh, fuck it, man. I'm um, more like a backer mon, am I right? <laughs> Sussy! Nice, one, nice, dude, I got him. Fucking got him. Rip I Chocobo. I think it's kind of funny that our Chocobo will never, <laughs> never look like a Chocobo. It's forever stuck as a, as a Gaugamon. For some reason, I always want to call Gaugamon Mac Gaugamon. I think because in my head, Gauga doesn't sound like... It sounds like Gauga should be the rookie. It does. Galmon yeah. seems too short for yeah. a rookie. It's you also know, annoying I, because there's a fucking art tablet called a Galmon, and whenever I search for Galmon, the tablet comes up, and I'm like, oh, fuck, Galmon Digimon. I hate that shit. Annoying. I'm going to try to look up Renamon furry porn, and all I see uh, is... And it says, did you mean Ranamon? It's like, no! No, I need the fur. Fur is what makes it. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Um, shout out to all the people. I just put up a Digimon Tamers video yesterday where we gave them all bio merges. Uh, shout outs to every horny person in that comment calling the Leo Mon Fusion mommy. Go go to jail. Go, go to, to jail. <laughs> get a shower and go to jail. How dare you? Listen, that. that that would be pretty. Um, it'd be pretty cool if you ever got <laughs> it's rule thirty four of a Digimon you created. Oh, I thought you could say it'd be pretty cool if I did rule thirty four of me, and I'm like, I agree. That yeah, too, absolutely. That too. It's like 
you know, a little weird, but it, it would weird. show how famous you've gotten. Exactly. I mean, if you if anyone wants to draw a rule 34 of me, can you make it flattering? Like, don't draw me as fat as I actually am, please. <laughs> I don't mind if I'm sucking a dude's dick or something. Just just make me look, you know, nice. <laughs> I was gonna say draw draw me and you together, but I don't want to get Jack Septicide. That's true. Yeah, they will never want to record together again because people will ship yeah. us too intensely. I know. Uh, I feel like it's not. It wouldn't be as fun with us because we joke about it. Too yeah, much. we've already acknowledged it too much. People are like ah, making it too easy. Exactly. They're like, oh, it's not fun if they actually want to be gay. They're gonna start writing like an enemies to lovers fic about me and Hunter instead. <laughs> <laughs> My ex girlfriend wrote fan fiction about my friends. Wow! And yeah, she was like, "Is that weird?" And at the time, I was like, "No, no, babe. Do you want to no. have sex?" <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's weird at all. And then, like, <laughs> a couple weeks later, I was like, "No, no, it it is. <laughs> it's it's, <fucking laughs> it's weird. really fucking weird. It's <laughs> um, really weird." The inverse of this, which I, it's probably weird, but I think is absolutely hilarious is what me, uh, when I was a kid, and my stepdad used to do, which was make sims of people we didn't like and then close all the doors off and set fireworks off inside. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that too. Or I would do the pool thing where you take the Oh yeah, the pool thing the was pool. good too, yeah. I, I was going to say as well, I want to give a shout out to Jmon, who consistently kills it in the comments. Thank you, Jmon, who really Thanks. made me laugh the other day, who said, like, I've noticed you're not making as much fun of Hunter now that the, <laughs> the videos are being edited by him, and I'm like, it's a fucking tremendous point, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Fuck you, Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, you piece of shit. You know what makes me, ugh, I like, we, we, have to, we have to dance around a lot of this, right? But, mm -hmm. like, Hunter went to a thing on the yes. plane. He, he did go to a thing on a plane. He went to a thing on a plane, and the entire weekend to me, as he described it, felt like the opening half of, like, some rom-com where the guy got dumped. Like, just his entire weekend was just him being cucked by other people. <laughs> just, like, his brother was doing better than him, and, like, he met with a friend who now works at a game studio and shit, and I'm just like... <laughs> and, he and then he gets home, and he has to fucking go to work the next day and shit. He stands over a bridge and he goes, I just want my life to be different. And then an <laughs> old man <laughs> with, a, with a scepter shows up. And he's like, suck my dick. And then it's like, okay. All right. now, now he's Shazam, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Which is which is great for him. I'm happy that he's yeah. Shazam now. But it is making the had a, so if, good. If I, be, if I became a wizard every time I sucked an old man dick, I'd be fucking Sorcerer Supreme. But <laughs> not, <laughs> we're not all that lucky. <laughs> What? <laughs> ah, yeah, well, welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> you know how uh, a lot of celebrities are doing that thing where they do a podcast where they rewatch all their old stuff? Sure. And just talk about we should do that, but with our Let's Plays. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna go. That's gonna, everyone's gonna love that. <laughs> it's just us repeating the same conversation. <laughs> So, I, so before you got COVID, mm -hmm. I put an LP reminder that I wanted to read you a segment of a of a Digimon wiki page. Oh, hell yeah. So I'm going to do that real quick. Go um, for it, brother. So, uh, where are we up to? Here we go. So, um, Izzy wonders if there might be a hundred new chosen children now, and how long their numbers will keep growing. He concludes his chat by telling Jedi there are many things he still has to discover. Now settled in New York City, Mimi describes her experiences through a video mail. She says that she has made a lot of friends in her school. Then she starts to talk about Native American tribes and how they had totem poles that protected them, which is similar to the Shugore in Japan. She also wonders if Digimon were actually around before the creation of the computer network, perhaps in the form of totem poles. Then she describes her experiences with the September 11 attacks on the World Trade Center. <laughs> You said New York. I'm like, oh no, I know where yeah. this is going. I had to cut the title of it, which is like <laughs> September 2001, Mimi Tachikawa video mail. <laughs> what were they thinking? I 
it's also out. it's also in the description of the wiki. It's like like and I went to the store and I got something to eat and I went down a thing and then a horrific terrorist attack happened yeah. and then I went home. Yikes! See, turning red, it's not that hard, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Fuck! It's not that hard to talk about. So yeah, just pepper that in an audio drama. <laughs> it makes yeah. <laughs> I love that so much. Why? Why the fuck? Who cares? <laughs> Why was it like all everyone else was like a normal summer and they're like, well, we have to acknowledge that Mimi was there during 9 11. Yeah. Just say that she was back in Japan. Yeah. Any Japanese or just in a kid. different state. No, I need to have in this car. Mimi had or to walk through the blood and the bones on 9 11 looking for a Digimon. It was in the digital world at the time. Mimi, you could have saved so many people, but you did. Mimi has terrible survivor's guilt. Well, either way, it was a national tragedy.